There he goes. There goes my rich and to get us our lunch. Not many vehicles here today. Raining. Okay, good morning everyone. It's still morning, 11.25. Um, January 17th. I'm dressed in red today. Red top and red earrings. And I uh, almost got a little headache, but... Anyway, he's gone into Sobeys. He's gonna get a couple cases of water, our big eight water. And, uh, this is the bottle, but I got my home water in mine. So, yeah. Um, yeah, today is 34 months. Yeah, a couple more months, it'll be three years. It doesn't really seem like three years because it's been the easiest thing that I've ever done diet-wise. I don't call it a diet. I call it a lifestyle change, but it is uh, still the word diet. What I eat in a uh, health food diet. That's what I call it. Health food uh, diet, yeah. I'm not on a diet, but what I eat, the products that I eat is in my diet. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, it's been the easiest 34 months. Yeah. All I have to do is batch cook, have the food ready to warm it up, and that's my fast food when I'm home. It's days like this that I do have the taters, but at home I don't eat. I don't eat salt, flour, alcohol. Salt, oil or fat, flour, alcohol or sugar. And of course when I eat here, the, the taters that I eat, they have been prepared with some oil and fat. And the only salt or sugar is like on the pickles or a little bit in the ketchup or whatever, that balsamic that I use. I don't use those things every day. I don't need them to make my food taste good. The, because I neuroadapted my taste buds. Yeah. Um... I can taste the sweetness of the vegetables, the root vegetables and the corn and the peas and mm, making myself hungry now. Yeah, because even all those other foods that people like to eat, they still like to dip them in, in dips and all sour cream and all kinds of stuff they use to flavor. But because I neuroadapted my taste buds, dot buds, I can taste the sweetness of the vegetables and I really enjoy them. Anyway, gee, this is a whole big long spiel that I didn't plan. Anyway, you guys say you'd like to hear me just talk sometimes. There's a guy over there in a black car. He's got a, a green hoodie. He's got green on his sneakers and he had a green Sobeys bag. <laughs> But I'm not going to film him just because. People might think I'm filming them. I don't know if I hold that up there. Yeah, I almost got this little headache. Uh, there's no wood for me to do today, so. <clears throat> so that's all right. Um, anyway, I'm going to pause this. Until I see him coming out. So, yeah, it's windy. Uh, there's showers, it's shower and, and, and I don't know if it's supposed to clear off until tomorrow. Yeah, 
I think we're coming to town on Tuesday. His phone might be in. And he wants to count up his bottles and bring his bottles to the thing. And we should remember to bring the printer and the other things that need to come here. To the, You can't put a TV or anything to do with computers or anything like that or on the side for garbage. You have to bring them up to the bottle exchange. It's all, it's a, a recycle um, um, depot. Not just bottles, but yeah. And they're not open on Monday, so. Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll bring them. Oh. If we do it Wednesday, then the drugstore is uh, Seniors Day, 20% off. So. All right, toodly do. Uh oh. Now the rain is mixed with. Not snow, it's more like hail. Thank <laughs> you. 